up YouTube and welcome to this video of my amnesia walkthrough part number 9 I think I'm or ten, no I think I believe we're actually on episode 10 actually as I believe I said it was episode 8 yesterday but it was actually 9 I've done a little bit of research um, but yeah um, so I kind of know but I don't fully know Hopefully, let's find out what to do. And uh, so, yeah, um, I know there's some hidden things. I also know that monster's gonna be looming around somewhere. And we'll hopefully, find some more oil because I know we're definitely. And hopefully, no monsters will be looming around because I do not want to have to deal with any monsters. This game is scary enough about the monsters because now you, it just leaves you not knowing when the monsters are actually going to come. I don't see why you don't just throw a barrel at the monster and knock it out. Oh, great. So from all the way back to the start, that's good, isn't it? So, yeah, back up here. So, I'm sure I have to find a hammer and like a I think we used the needle, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure what to do. I watch um, Mark Applier, one of my favourite YouTubers, so. Yeah. Pick it up from him. I know my sanity is going to go, but I, need, I don't have much oil left, I know that much. Aha, oil. Oh yeah. Oh, that was perfect timing to find that oil, actually. So where's this hammer? It's got to be around somewhere. Is that door that's locked. Aha! There's the ch chipper. So we just need the hammer, wherever it may be. I don't know if we actually went to this door. Something else is needed, which is the hammer. That's just a question of where. Maybe under the beds. This is the one. That, why don't this one? Oh, wait, yeah, it does. It's the banana. Hmm. Must be somewhere. But right, I'm gonna pause while we have a look around for the hammer. See, so I don't have to keep watching me, and we'll be back. And we're back, and I believe to know where we go now. I'm gonna, let you walk. I'm gonna walk there with you. Yeah. So uh, you know where to go just in case you're playing through the game. So we've got to come back down here. Hopefully, the monster's not still around. This monster's bloody scary. Though. There should be a hammer somewhere. So hopefully... Hammer... No hammer? Not in this room. It's in this room. Aha! I see. How did we miss that before though? Great. Great, so uh, now we've um, got no oil, which is always helpful. We've barely got any uh, tinker boxes as well. Which again, it's no use. What's in here? Aha! I see that there was a body here. There's just someone was coming here. Right, I think that's it. Surely that can't have just been for some uh, oil, surely not. 
I know where they are. How much are they even? Oh, filled. Maybe we can use have. What's that? About to say maybe we can use hammer and chip uh, chipper for this. Aha! There we go, now we can go through now. Come on. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Whoa. How do we what? Sorry for the confusion a couple of minutes ago. We just uh, had some uh, news come up. Oh, not that way. How dark is it down here? We need to try and save all the oil if we can. Throw it. Got a feeling bad stuff's going to happen at this place. Real bad stuff. I'm not looking forward to this. It's just as dangerous, isn't it? Just spells bad news in my ears. It's a prisoner, what do you expect? You expect it to be bad. Some monster. What's all that about? Vaporium. There's a sign going that way, I'm gonna go there. This game is really I don't know, it's scary. Like like it's not like one of those games like Atlas that's just made it scares everywhere, but it's one of the like it's making you expect something. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Um, so I'm just gonna work out which way to go. Sooner we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. You got that? Nope. It's not good though. Downstairs. Just uh, I feel like I've followed the signs since I'm not even I'm not sure what I'm actually looking for. <sighs> Why? Why does it have to bother us? Why? I know what it's going for. I don't even know where he escaped. Where is he now? So obviously we need to go down where that monster is. Oh, wow, it's the weird. Um. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Go, let's get past that. Whoa. So I go now, I still don't think any of this game really makes it's a good game. I just don't think it makes sense to me. First thing. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village is only in, and I'm now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Okay. 
so there's no notes around, but this area looks massive. No. Why? Why? Please blow up. I'm not so sorry, gonna go. No! No! Why? Why? We're done. Um. It's broke down the door, it's gotta walk in, surely. Where well, haven't found it. Why is it not walking in? What's happening? How have we just got away with that? Surely not. Okay, run. So, smash down the door. To walk away. That doesn't make sense. Is that... I think there's... I can't tell whether there's more than one monster there. Surely that monster followed us from down there. Surely not. It's carpet. It's down here then. But this place is making me scared. Left or right, left handed, so I go left. How far? Seriously. Can we not get up there? Okay. Let's try again. Alright. Oh no, so we can't get there, so I'm guessing we need some ladders or something. Let me try again, surely we've got to get up there. Must be able to find some way to get up there. Hello? No, okay. That's a nine. So if we've come down here for no reason, I'll be even more annoyed. How much oil have we got? Oh, we only got much oil left. We need more. I'll have to try and forge these in it when I can. The thing I do like about this game is it gives you quite a bit of warning about when monsters come in. What's in here though? There's another note. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Oh. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Okay. This like looks like it's, it's a dungeon place, that like Alexander's dungeon place. It's clearly done something wrong, that's why we're trying to get. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to do that. Mentos. 
there's got to be something to collect that, surely. Picks up that set of stuff that makes you better. Check for any hidden tinker boxes as we need them. Ha. Slacks really, we should really, should really look for more, for more of them. Really. So we need to find something that goes into our assets by the looks of it, and we've got to use that for something. And more oil, which is nice. But I think this is a good way to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then drop a like. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, and I'll see you.